everyone welcome back to my channel so today is april 1st 2023 and i am 38 weeks and one day and guess what we about to do can you guess can you guess can you guess yes midwives group now my ingredients are a little different. Well, first, uh, just a small disclaimer. I'm no medical professional. Well, technically, I am a medical professional. I'm an LPN, but I'm no labor and delivery. I'm no doctor. So um, don't go uh, for me and what I say. Um, ask your doctor first um, about trying anything to induce labor, um, especially if you're high risk or whatever the case may be. Don't try to follow me or my direct ask your doctor midwife or whatever before y'all do anything but this is what i'm going to do today so the ingredients are supposed to be living ver verbana tea um but of course nobody can ever find it unless you pretty much order it um but this tea does have living verbana in it i think i took a picture of it before i already made the tea i'm just steeping it and i actually put it in the freezer because i don't want it to be super hot when i'm making the stuff So, um, some people use one tea bag, some people use two, some people use four. I use four. Castor oil, um, two tablespoons of castor oil, almond butter, um, I already had almond butter, so that's why it's used. Not that I eat it. And then you're supposed to use apricot nectar. Couldn't find apricot nectar. Never can find apricot nectar. Nobody can find apricot nectar. Um, and when you try to order off Amazon, they want to give you cases and cases and cases. I won't do that. So um, I'm using 100% pineapple juice. Pineapple is supposed to help anyway with flavor and all that and softening your cervix or whatever it's supposed to do i'm gonna use pineapple juice i don't it's not an active ingredient so well i don't know if apricots apricot juice was an active ingredient or not but we just gonna use 100 percent pineapple juice um so i'm just waiting on my tea to steep that's supposed to steep for like 15 minutes or something like that and i want it to get a little cool and i want i had this in the refrigerator i don't want to put ice in it because you're supposed to let it be at it's like you know your body observes they absorbs things better when it's warmer in your body than rather when it's cold or on ice so i'm not going to put it on ice but i do want it to have a little chill to it not too cold so this is out the refrigerator and the tea i'm gonna let cool down a little bit and then i'll be back one more thing i want to come back and say if you have not seen my labor and delivery video for my son take this time to go and look at that video um it was just like a year ago or two years ago or something like that it's on my page um go look at that video it will be a little different from this video because i gave birth to him at a birthing center um so that video will be a little different but i'll go check that video out video out um and yeah leave me a comment subscribe make sure y'all like this video just take the time out right now to do that real quick i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers subscribers so help me get there y'all if you're looking at this video just hit like it only take a second hit like and subscribe um yeah so i want to do that i'll be back when i am about to make the brew okay y'all so i'm back and we're about to make this brew now um first thing i'm gonna add is tea so i took the tea out the freezer i had it in the freezer for just a, like 20 minutes or so and this is eight ounces eight ounces of tea So you get the stuff all out. The goodness of the tea. I don't know about goodness. Um then ten ounces of your liquid. So ten ounces. So a cup is eight ounces. I'm making a match, y'all. 
I'm gonna do eight. I'm guesstimating. And a little bit more. I ain't doing a whole bunch. Because I ain't trying to drink a whole lot of castor oil first. Two tablespoons of the castor oil. So two tablespoons of almond butter. here. It looks pretty blended. That's it. Alright. Okay, y'all. So, here it is. And I got me a straw. I'm not going to put no ice in it because I want it to go into your body the way it is. I want it to absorb nicely instead of being over ice. They say it absorb better. So I'm not going to put any ice in it. I'm gonna say 435. Alexa. Hey, Alexa. No, not Alexa. Oh, Lord. Not you, Alexa. Okay. Sorry, Alexa. Alexa. Hey, Alexa. Sorry. Not cut off. I meant to say Siri. Hey, Siri. Set my timer for 20 minutes. I think they say 30 minutes, but we gonna do it in 20. All right. It's not, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not good. It don't taste good. It tastes like everything what it is. I don't taste tea. I taste the pineapple juice. I taste the, the butter, peanut butter, almond butter. I don't really taste the castor oil, I don't think. But let's go to the table and sit down. Okay, So I'm on my bowl. I'm gonna finish drinking this drink. Four thirty seven. I'm scared. I'm kind of scared, y'all, for real. I'm kind of nervous. Kind of nervous talking all that mess. Whew.
you keep drinking it, it's just not, it's not giving. I'm gonna text my mama until I'm drinking it. kids in the background playing <sighs> this camera don't look so bad I could probably record with this camera and use this and take all this all that stuff off this camera and y'all after this guess what I'm getting which is probably a mistake crabs I'm gonna eat me some crabs after this and I probably shouldn't because crabs do make me go to the bathroom already. That's probably gonna be a bad idea, but I really want some. I might not though, cause this is making me feel like, mm, mm, I don't know. Okay. All right, I'm gonna finish it and um, I'll be back when I'm done. Thank you. Took it off for Spontan Tears Fit. So you guys know that I've been looking for a vitamin C serum. So I started doing a little bit of searching on Amazon. And I happened to come across this brand that had over 2,000 plus reviews, which led me to looking more into the product. And this is what I found. Y'all yeah, watching McKenna. She just posted like 45 minutes ago. If you don't know who McKenna is, then what are you doing? No. McKenna Walker. I just subscribed to her on YouTube probably about a month ago. And I've just been watching her ever since. Um, I found her birth vlog first. And then... I just started looking at all her other vlogs. I really like her. She's just so mellow and smooth and just like, yeah, just like, just a real mom. Like just, you know, just, I don't know. I just like her. I like her aura and I like her attitude and she's uh, kind of inspiring. So I like watching her. So I'm about to finish watching her. I'm about to finish this drink. Look how much I got left. Not that much. How much time I got? Six minutes and 50 seconds. So I'll be done with it. Then I'll be back. All right. The sound just made me like, mm, like, oh, okay. I can't do it with a straw. That's it with Two minutes to spare. Y'all probably can't see that, but with two, almost three minutes to spare. All done. All right, so I'm all done. Now, what I am about to do now is just straighten up the house a little bit because it's stuff everywhere, of course. Um, which, what was I thinking trying to do this? Wow, it's stuff everywhere all around the house. But, um, yeah, I'm about to try to straighten up the house a little bit, um, be active a little bit, and wait for Kevin to come back with these crabs. I might eat some. I might not, depending on how I feel, because it was, that drink was not good. And, um, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, I'll see. I'll probably try to do in between what's in my hospital bag, because um, I still haven't done that yet. So, I might do that. And, um, but in the meantime, I'm going to be trying to get this house straight and then I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I paused for a second so I can eat these crabs for a second, and then I'm going to go back to doing these clothes and then do the baby room and maybe my hospital bag. But so far, it's 6.07. I don't feel anything yet, so we'll be back. Okay, y'all, it's currently 
seven o two, seven o'clock. And I just finished eating the crabs and I am going to continue to clean up. We got clothes to put away, folded clothes to put away. They already folded, we just gotta put them away. I'm just gonna put them away. And um, yeah, so. in a bag folded so i'm gonna go through the bags and put them away and then i gotta go in jamari room and do his bag in his room and put it away so i'll be back after that nothing nothing yet still my regular braxton hicks that i've been feeling um nothing to me that's really out of the ordinary for me so i'll be back to keep y'all updated okay y'all it's currently 827 and 828 and something is definitely happening. I'm having a lot of cramping. Still feels like Braxton Hicks. But it's definitely more frequent. I don't get Braxton Hicks this often. So quick, what's in my hospital bag? Actually, Bag. We're gonna start with my bag. So I just have like a little duffel bag. And I probably overpack. I know I overpack because they don't even keep you in the hospital that long anymore. And I know I'm not gonna want to put on none of my clothes most of the time. So I'll probably be in their gown, especially for like the first and second day because you bleed like a lot. So. But then I don't like to be in that gown for long, so just in case. I don't know. So let me show y'all. At the top here, I got an extra bag for that stuff that I want to bring home or I may need. I have my smaller tripod. all my little essentials here which I'm going to revamp this a little bit because I went to the store and bought some travel size stuff toothpaste oh and I bought some more I bought a different toothpaste because the only is that thunder? Mm -hmm. I brought another toothpaste that one I already had and it was a little bit gone so I'm going to do Take that one out, put this one in. Some lotion. I got my Freedom Mom healing foam. It's gonna help with afterwards. I got some earrings. I'm gonna take this deodorant out. Put this little travel size deodorant. Travel size Listerine. And this is just a little thing of hand sanitizer. I'll probably put this in my bag in the front. My little pocket at the front. So, then I got like edge control, some other lotions, edge brush, earrings, stuff like that in here. Okay. see her like body just outline Whew. I can't sit up when I'm having anything okay got a scarf this is my underwear and bras I do have nursing bras, the ones that unhook in the front. Towel, washcloth. And what's this? Oh, so I put they're gonna give you um like um 
like hospital underwear or the you know the underwear that you wear after birth but i brought two of my own the always and i brought my own pads just like i only brought like four of them i know they're gonna give you some but i just brought some anyway We're gonna take pictures there. My mother bought me this. This is the mommy and me. It's a robe. It's a robe for me. I don't even think I took this out yet, but it's a robe for me. <laughs> yeah. And a wrap for baby with a headband so we got like matching matching sets dress in here a little dress that i could put on a long little dress house dress that'll be comfortable and the rest is really just clothes so i got one pair like stretch pants Two pair of stretch pants and a third pair of pajama pants. Why I got so many? I don't know. And then I have camis. I got three camis and I got three shirts to go with the pants. I brought shorts just in case. Biker. Biker shorts just in case black one that's it in my little pocket in the front i got chapstick hair ties mitts and hand sanitizer shoot shoot all right now i gotta pack this back up that's it that's all i got for me that's all i got for me Christmas music. Right. <laughs> like, please. Right <laughs> Goodness. I ain't ready for no Christmas music. I ain't ready for no Christmas music. Jamar and Auntie. And Auntie. What's her name, Auntie? Um. Oh, uh, um, Aunt Rachel. Yeah. Aunt Rachel. Not right now. Not no Christmas music. Ooh. And this little small park here. Thank you. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, thank you. All right, now we're about to go. And I'm going to show y'all what I got in the baby's bag. Now it's time for baby bag. So this bag is actually Jamari's. We had two. This is the one Kevin was using for him. But we rarely use this one. We use the one that I had most of the time. So, um, we're just going to use this for baby girl. Alright. So, this is another wrap that comes with a bow. another wrap that come with a bow she may do picture well of course we're gonna take pictures and everything but Whew. it's raining outside oh she's so sweet did you read it Mm-hmm. I said that was so nice. You told her we was having issues. Mm -hmm. This is the little outfit that I packed for her. This. And these little pants. Look at these little, little pants. I think she's going to be big. We're going to see if she can fit them. But she ain't be that big when she first come out. She ain't that big. She likes seven pounds, I bet. <sighs> this is another little outfit. This might be coming home. Y'all probably seen this in my other video when I was opening gifts so if you haven't seen that video go back and watch it <clears throat> plans to go with that you still recording
Yeah, but what you need? Oh. Do what you do best. Little sister. That's another outfit. So that's like three outfits. She probably won't need all these outfits. Yeah. She she won't. She won't, but I'm taking them. I'm taking them. So that's three outfits for her. Three outfits plus the wrap. Which is not really an outfit, but Okay, I got some burping cloths. These came from Jamari, actually. He has so many burping cloths, towels, wash rags left over, and we don't need none of that stuff. And a lot of stuff was gender neutral because we didn't know what we were having when we had him. So again, if you didn't go watch that video, go watch that because it's a surprise gender reveal too. And you know, he was my, my first boy, so it was a surprise to me and it was really nice. Y'all should go back and watch that video. So, I got some little t-shirts, three of them. Three little white onesies. Oh, I also got her some sleepers, two sleepers. All of these clothes are newborn. If she come out bigger than newborn, I don't know, but I doubt it. Then in this little pocket in here, I have hats, hats, three different hats, gloves to match the hats, and I got bows, hair bows, I got gray, pink, light pink, white, and then another little one, this from Jamar, he had this little white one, just in case none of these hats match, because none of these hats came with the um, outfits. Three pair of socks. She probably won't need them again. Oh, these must be left over from Jamari. See, they blue. And at the very bottom is a blanket. So one little blanket. are just like some baby bags to put the pampers in like trash bags to put the pampers in i probably won't need them but i will need them eventually so they you know just for the baby bags so i leave them in there. And this little part this is stuff what's wrong I mean, this is a little stuff that I'm going to have in the baby bag. I won't need it at the hospital, but it's just something that I'm going to keep in the baby bag. So, Cedarfield baby wash and shampoo. Um, brush milk storage bags and disposable pads. I probably won't need that. A little bit of ointment. The hospital's going to give you all that stuff. Lotion. Um, they'll have all that stuff, so I really don't need that. And I think I'm going to put, I thought I already put it in here, but I didn't. Some diapers and wipes. Now, you ain't gonna, you're not going to need diapers and wipes. They're going to give you that. But, I, I mean, it's a baby bag, so I'm just going to have it in there anyway. Just because I'm going to need it anyway. Um, but, yeah, y'all, that's all that's in her little bag. I ain't missing nothing. When I say they're going to have everything, they will have everything. You really only need a coming home outfit. That's it. You know, socks and stuff, but maybe a t-shirt, blanket. But you don't need all these outfits, but it's, if you want to take pictures in the hospital, then definitely bring, you know, stuff to do that. So... That's all that's in her bag. Um, I'll probably, like I said, put like a couple diapers in there, maybe. And um, that's it. Um, I don't plan on bringing my pump to the hospital. I don't plan on pumping in the hospital. I don't plan on pumping at all for a couple weeks. I want to establish my flow. Um, unless she has issues latching or whatever. But um, other than that, I'm, I'm good. It's okay. Um, but yeah, that's all that's in 
our bag. Um, like I said, I am feeling something, y'all. They're actually coming stronger than they normally do. So hopefully it's about to be labor. I think I'm going to end this video here. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, just monitor and see what's going on and then do a separate video if I go to the hospital and that'll be my labor and delivery video. But this will be my previous video before that. So we'll see. It depends on how things play out. Um, I don't think I brought my Bobby to the hospital last time. But I see people bring that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm bringing that or not. Probably not. I don't want to take it out of the house. But, um, yeah. I think that's it. That's it. I'll catch back up with y'all if something goes on. Or something happens. Or I start to feel more. I will catch back up with y'all. So, bye.